To paraphrase Charles Dickens, it was the best of cameras, it was the worst of cameras. So this Tale of Two camera started when a buddy of mine gave me two rolls of Harman Phoenix 200 film in 120 or medium format. And the timing couldn't have been better because this was right before Holga week was getting ready to start. So I was planning to shoot both of these rolls in one of my Holgas. And then I thought, you know what, wouldn't it be cool if maybe I shot one of these rolls in a Holga, but then I shot the other roll in a completely different camera so I could compare and contrast the results. So I decided to shoot the second roll in my Pentax 6.7. Now the Holga and the Pentax 6.7 have exactly one thing in common. They're both medium format cameras that take 120 film and that's where the similarities end. The Pentax 6.7 is a rugged, all-metal beast of a camera. It is renowned for an impressive range of shutter speeds and lenses, including the legendary 105 f2.4 lens renowned for its optical quality. The Holga is, well, an all-plastic camera with a plastic lens. It's essentially a point-and-shoot box camera. Now, the aspect ratio of the cameras is different, too. If you shoot the Holga without a mask like I do, it'll give you 6x6 images, so you get 12 images on a roll. The Pentax 6.7, of course, gives you 6x7 images, so you'll get 10 images on a roll, uh, unless you accidentally fire off a shot when it's in your bag, like I did, then you'll only get nine shots. There's even a lock on the Pentax 6.7 to help you avoid doing this, but I'm so out of practice shooting the 6.7 that I forgot to set the lock, so this was a 100% operator error, or in other words, just me being dumb. So while this is a head-to-head -head comparison of the two cameras, I did have a few extra shots on the Holga. I should mention here that the Holga that I used was the OG, the very first model, the Holga 120S. It's very basic. It doesn't have the foam inserts that some of the later models do, so the film doesn't always wind that tightly on the take-up spool, and a lot of times you'll get fat rolls, which is going to give you light leaks, and you'll see plenty of light leaks on these Holga shots. I shot the Pentax 6.7 roll at ISO 100, and you will see some blown highlights in the 6.7 images. Now, for the Holga, of course, you can't set the ISO at all, so I just push the shutter and hope for the best. All right, now it's time to share the images with you. For each scene, I'm going to show you the Pentax 6.7 image first, then the Holga image, and then I'll show them both side by side. So sit back, relax, and enjoy two completely different takes on Harman Phoenix 200. So they both had Phoenix's trademark warm oranges and limited dynamic range, but obviously there's a pretty big difference between the high resolution images from the Pentax 6.7 and the grungy lo-fi look of the Holga images. Now I like them both for different reasons, and I had a ton of fun shooting this challenge. If you want to see more Pentax 6.7 versus Holga challenges with a different film stock, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you can catch all future challenges by subscribing to the channel, where I now have over 360 free videos all about film photography with many more to come. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.